we have a philosophy of using, you know, everything we can from the farm, every resource we have. If, if we have an on-farm resource, we, we prefer to use it rather than have to have a purchased one. The farm has evolved over the years. It's long been a family farm, and uh, the thing that's kept it running for years and years has been the Brown Swiss dairy cows. And, uh, uh, you know, we also raise some pigs and we, you know, sell them as, uh, you know, as fats. And so uh, we've long worked with small grains for uh, forages, and, and in recent years we're starting to uh, figure out how to use them as cover crops. But uh, oats have always been uh, like any tool, you know. Uh, um, you know, if you only got one tool, you can figure out how to make it the right tool. Well, in, our, in, in this case, it's just, just another one of those tools that can be used a number of ways. The main thing that, that uh, uh, we use the oats for is for feed. It's added to our feed ration for the calves and uh, uh, primarily sows and then the dairy cows. Uh, it's uh, an excellent, excellent uh, source of fiber that benefits animal digestion. Uh, there's uh, probably almost as important as the as the grain, although as the straw, because we use a lot of it for bedding, it's it's unbeatable for things like uh, you know calf bedding and uh, for farrowing sows and stuff. Um, you know, a lot of times when uh, things don't turn out exactly as well as we planned on, but when we don't have to rely on one or two commodities to sell, uh, we have a lot more legs on our stool. It's just like when you get four or five legs instead of three, it may not always be completely balanced, but it'll, it's going to be a lot less likely to tip over. For more information, visit practicalfarmers.org, where you will find farminars, research reports, videos, and other useful resources about how to strengthen your farm by adding a small grains crop to your rotation.